Bob Lamb, welcome back to my memories of the La Crosse County Amateur Golf Championships. So many storied memories and events of the County Am, but today we're going to take a look back at five different tournaments, four of them really early in tournament history. So let's begin with the 1938 tournament. In the history book I put together here, I said, the greatest comeback in history occurred in 1938 when Johnny Erickson rallied from nine strokes behind with 18 holes to play. Erickson shot rounds of 79, 78, 71 for a three-day 228 total while Rich Youngen ballooned to a final round 80 after a pair of 74s. Erickson won the crown in a one-hole sudden-death playoff. The 1942 tournament was a real yawner with Youngen winning by nine strokes. In 1949, Harry Cooper set a record 210 in the 54-hole event. And then in 1951, Triff Herodas won, and that was the tournament, the first year the tournament switched to a 36-hole format. Now let's move on to 1993, which was another great tournament. And I always had the distinct honor of introducing Don Iverson as our honorary chair at the Champions Banquet preceding that tournament. Here's what I wrote. The County Amateur has featured several talented golfers through the years, but none as outstanding as Don Iverson, this year's honorary chairman. Iverson, who grew up just a nine iron away from La Crosse Country Club, dominated the 1960s by winning the championship flight a record six times, including four straight from 1964 to 1967. And it was in 1967 that the long-hitting Iverson set the 36-hole County M record of 71-64-135. The Central High School and University of Wisconsin Lacrosse graduate played on the PGA Tour from 1971 to 1979, then returned to his roots in lacrosse to become a national sales representative for Inland Printing Company. Also, Iverson was the youngest player to ever compete in the county amateur, shooting 89, 100 for a 189 in 1956 at age 10. Now let's move on to the 1993 tournament, which we'll focus on today. That tournament was won by Mr. Paul Williamson, and here's what I wrote. Left-handed golfers seem to take their share of good-natured ribbing, but in 1993, Southpaw Paul Williamson treated the rest of the field and the gallery of more than 1,000 fans to a brilliant display of golf. Rallying from a five-shot deficit in a five-hour rain delay, Williamson fired a 73 on Sunday at Cedar Creek, including a 1-under 34 on the back nine, to give him a two-day total of 150 and the tournament victory. Saturday's rain delay forced Williamson and other afternoon players to return to Drugan's Castle Mound on Sunday morning to complete their first rounds. Then they scurried to Cedar Creek to begin their second round only a few hours later. Here's what Willie said. I had just enough time to go home, take a nap, and get back to Cedar Creek. <laughs> oh, yes. What a guy. 
As I said, Paul Williamson won the championship flight with a 150. And in our first picture, you'll see Tim Thompson, the 1992 winner, helping Willie with his first County M sport coat. Bob Shane, our first flight winner, managed a 159, and you can see him accepting his first flight plaque from Margaret Squibb Olson, our late and great rules chair, and Mary Drugan, media coordinator. Winning second flight that year was Terry Dalby with 159. Third flight went to Rick Osseth with 173. Excuse me, 172. Clyde Lonicky shot 159 to win the age 50 to 59 low gross division, while Jim Pickett Sr shot 142 to win the 50 to 59 no let, low net division. John Allen managed 156 to win the age 60 and over low gross title, while Joe Hengel, longtime favorite in lacrosse, shot a 135 to win the age 60 and above low net title. Incidentally, that same year, Steve Churchill shot a hole-in-one at Dugan's Castle Mound on number six with, that was 168 yards away. Here's what Steve had to say. I figured it had a chance to go in, so I looked in the hole, and there it was. <laughs> Come back next week, please, and join us for another installment of my memories of a lacrosse county amateur. See you then. Thank you very much.